everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to the System Shock Remake. It's a remake. It's a full remake. I played the demo for this a while back and thought it was neat. A bit clunky. And now it's out on Steam and good old games specifically who were kind enough to reach out and send me a copy. Uh, and so I guess we're just going to dive right in. So I'm going to leave combat on normal. I want to highlight some of the difficulty options here just because. Like, hard? Oh, more enemies. But they do a lot of damage. See, I kind of wish I could actually customize this a little bit more, because I like m more enemies. I just don't want them to be tough or have a lot of HP. Like, I I'm kind of more of a horde fighter kind of guy. Uh, I don't know, I grew up with Dynasty Warriors. Can you blame me? Uh, so I want this one specifically I thought was cool. The hacker has 10 hours. Oh, that's interesting. When I was playing on the review branch, it was 5 hours, but I guess they've changed it. Uh, but yeah, 10 hours to stop showdown and we'll die permanently if the restoration bay on the current level isn't activated, which I think is really cool. That said, I'm actually going to leave this on easy just for the waypoints. Uh, I don't actually know how much it matters. So, through security protocols, pursue the hacker when cyber denizens engage on site. Alright, that's fine. And puzzles. You'll be perplexed. Puzzles are not a problem. I'm just going to leave it on mostly normal. I just want to put mission on easy just to uh, have the smoothest possible experience here. Hopefully it ain't too handholdy. We'll see. I wonder if you can change these settings mid-game. Probably not. Especially not for the time limit one, at least. It's an interesting opening. It's very 90s. I'm digging the music for this. Yeah, this feels like kind of one of those uh, opening sequences for a, uh, for like a 90s game where... Oh. But back in the 90s, they'd... Oh, never mind. I give up. I'll talk about this later. Oh, this is me. I guess maybe I can talk about it a little bit then. What is the drone that was looking at me? Uh, but yeah, where they'd show off what they, they can do, and then the rest of the game didn't match it. It wasn't very common, but it did happen every once in a while. Where it's like, whoa, this opening sequence is incredible. And then the game, you'd launch into it and just be like, oh, never mind. It's actually not very good. So this is, I guess, our apartment. Kind of a slow open but if i remember right specifically we're supposed to be some like random hacker that game brick oh the following message is brought to you by the trioptimum corporation pizza fancy a change of career feeling the need okay i don't think i have anything oh right i forgot you can lean around corners oh i don't know how to interact with anything then right click to open the door there's our answer well we don't have a reflection Uh, Where am I going? What am I doing? Perk Master. Oh, login succeeded. Continue. Yes, no? There we go. So, PowerTech Network Security Command Shell. Working with System Oscar. Access Security Clearance. Access Denied. Access Main Program Grid. Denied. Run. Betraying Ram. Blah. I like it how, yeah, we just have really classic hacker gloves just because we are a goof man. Like, just an absolute nerd. Transporting to prison 
prisoner from New Atlantis Sector 11. What's our destination? Diego's office is requesting the prisoner to make the handoff there. Copy that. The audio balance is, on this is so scuffed. Remember, gentlemen, what I say stays here. I'm currently attending to other affairs on the station, but I have a job for you. If you do it, you'll be rewarded. Refuse, and you won't be leaving the station in a shuffle. I see the silent type. Remove the hood. I'll make you a deal. You cooperate and I'll give you the implant you tried to steal. Surgery and all. Consider it a gift. Besides, what surgeon would you prefer? Try Optimum's Elite or some black market hack job? Fantastic. This is Shodan, the station's AI. She controls just about every system on Citadel Station. I need you to remove the ethical restraints. They've been a bit of an issue of late. Not bad. I may have other work for you once this is over. See you. <laughs> I have no idea if that sequence actually played at the beginning of System Shock. I thought it was more of a cold open where you just popped out of the pod. Because, yeah, the implication there is that Shodan asked us to do that. Not Diego. Looks nice. Tab for neural interface. Okay, so here's our UI. We have map status media wares. Wares. Oh, as in like cyberware, not sales. So I can pick up some stuff. I don't know what like half of this is. Blood plasma bags, scalpels. I'm pretty sure most of that is junk. So we do have a med patch. Restore your health over time. Looks like most of this is just junk. And I should leave it alone. Uh, we should probably just toss it. Vaporize result to scrap. Vaporize. Okay, hold up. I... If this stuff is actually useful, it is time for me to do what I do best, which is loot everything and then hopefully vaporize it and use it for something useful later. Even if it's a mistake. Alright, so I have now picked up a lot of stuff. No, best I can tell is that that's just, uh, that's just intentional, that the, the alt, oh, is it saying right alt? I mean, left alt works too, but I think it might actually be intentional that it's that small, or at least they didn't bother to fix it. Well, there's a pipe. Left to attack, and then we can do a stronger attack too. It doesn't look like there's anything else. I'm not actually sure if it's going to be worth, uh, let's see. No. I don't actually know if it's going to be worth looting all of these things. Oh. Nav map. Mapping unit tracks and stores terrain details on the map. Multimedia data reader allows the user to receive emails, listen to audio logs, encrypt data sticks. And then the key card. I like the animations. We got someone. Employee 2 4601. I'm Rebecca Lansing, a counter-terrorism consult for Tri-Optimum. Here's the situation. Our scans for Citadel Station show a biological outbreak is in progress. We're in a comms blackout since Shodan is unresponsive. And worse yet, the mining laser is charging for a potential strike on Earth. 
Nathan Darcy has an office on the medical level from Central Hub. If he's alive, he'll bring the situation under control. I'll contact you through military neural implants soon. Lansing out. Okay. Ooh. I like that animation. I don't know if we've taken much damage here, but I do want to stay away from this thing. Just because I am a poor weak boy and will die. Okay, so we've got the handbook. Oh wait, we can just vaporize things here. Okay, what is it? Handbook goes over Triops company culture and lucrative past. For example, one entry covers how the company absorbed the United States in 2059 via the Hayes Bishop Bill. Okay, so we can press F to just grab everything, which we want to do. Restore health to the maximum by using the surgery machine. Uh, let's see. Let's grab everything from there. Oh. Here we go. Time to climb in, then we'll vaporize every item. I don't actually know if scrap is that useful, but look, man. I'm... If you've ever seen me play, like, the Fallout games, or really any game with large amounts of loot, I will grab everything relentlessly. It's actually really bad. I almost kind of wish there was a uh, hotkey for vaporizing faster. ID tag... Alistar Davy. Uh, let's see. Personal digital assistant. Like, some of these are actually worth something. Food bar. Stethoscope. I don't know. Try credit. We might actually want to hold on to that. Especially because it doesn't look like it can be vaporized for anything useful. I don't know how our character is just capable of vaporizing everything to this extent, but I'm not going to look that gift horse in the mouth. I wonder if I can actually, um... Vapor... No, no, I, c I can't vaporize these before I pick them up. It won't let me do that, but... Now I have a bunch of scrap. What is scrap used for? Recyclable scrap. Yeah, hopefully it's useful for something. Because I suppose I'm going to end up with a bunch. Oh, it's the camera. So level security is down. I guess I'll have to pay attention to that. Berserk Batch, temporarily increase your physical damage, may cause side effects. Anything else around here? Not really, no. Okay, here another one of these. Normally I feel like you're supposed to hide from the cameras. I mean, destroying them makes sense. I guess the point is now Shodan can't watch me. Replenish my energy from the power station. Our character is just taking this very much in stride. It's just like, alright. I can just uh, absorb electricity now. Oh boy, this guy got messed up. Human course had nothing on him. Okay, data six contain information that the multimedia data reader can decrypt and display. There we go. Hold F to read. Nick, I understand you're new here, but remember the door code to the healing suites is 451. Don't forget, don't forget it as we have a VIP recovering from neurosurgery and Edward Diego, head of operations on the station, seems to be anxious about them waking up. With that in mind, please let me know immediately if there's a change in our guest's condition. As an aside, I need you to clean out the supply closet in the healing suite. The possessions from the last patient who expired last month are still there. Move them to the storage section in the maintenance tunnel, just north of the healing suites. It's where we put the patient's belongings if they die during their sleep. Kind of like uh, lost and found. Mostly lost. Anything else? Nah, no, it doesn't look like it. It's interesting, if I get up close to something, my uh, I will like raise the... Uh, I will raise my my pipe up for whatever reason. I'm curious why. I don't know. Uh, it's probably some kind of weird edge case thing or an artifact from... I don't know, back in the day? 451, right? Yep. Alright, perfect. Oh, hi. You have seen better days. There we go. I'm not quite sure of the hitbox of my attacks yet. I really like that mini-map. Alright, do we have anything else? No. Welcome back to Citadel Station. We hope your somnolent healing stage went well. Today is the 6th day of November, year 2072. You are currently in the healing suites, 
Located on the first level. Level two contains the research laboratories. Three houses the Department of Maintenance. And the storage cells are on level four. The flight deck is on level five. Le level six holds crew facilities and executive suites. And level seven is systems engineering. Level eight houses the Department of Security. The bridge is located on level nine and energy systems on level R. All levels can be accessed by the elevator in, in, in Alpha Quadrant. We hope you have a pleasant stay on Citadel Station. All right, so we see one, one weirdo gooner there. Cycle items on your hotbar, customize the contents of the hotbar via the neural interface. That makes sense. Your yeah, music is good. Okay, looks like there's a couple of these dudes. And I can go back and heal potentially as much as I want dead humanoid mutant. Okay, I hear another one of these suckers, but I'm not seeing him. Even the corpse is empty, can't open that up. I'm just going to keep wandering. Hopefully we get some kind of flashlight at some point or turn the lights on. But actually, I mean, I'm up for kind of either, but I'm a big fan of games where you actually kind of affect the environment in some way, shape, or form. Namely by, yeah, turning on light switches, opening doors, maybe building some defenses or barricades and stuff. Um, I'm on a big player agency kick at the moment. <laughs> Okay, luckily... There we go. Now, does he have anything? Cyborg drone. Did take some damage, but not like huge amounts. Okay, there's another one. I don't have much. So I think I'm going to wait for him to come around the corner. I don't actually know if heavy attacks or light attacks are really the right call in this. If I'm hitting and running, probably heavy attacks are the way to go. But if I'm staying mostly static, then I don't know which I want to go for. Can I quick save? Yes! Oh, quick save. You are a blessing and a half. Did it spin to hit me? One way or another, it seems like Circle Strafe is the way to go. Okay, I don't... Oh. There's a dude doing zappy zaps. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. I took it. I took out the turret. That's all I really need. Let's go back and actually get a heal. Fatigue level's high. I don't actually know where to check these things. I know we've got cameras, but we'll get to that in a second. Is this where I came from? I think so. Where's that surgery pod? Can I actually use this endlessly? It looks like it. That's nice. I'm honestly used to these immersive sims actually being very stingy with healing. Maybe it gets um, stingier as we go along, but if it's not going to be stingy at the moment, then I'm all for it. That means as long as I don't, like, goof up too much, we're fine. Also, would you look at this? More junk for me to scrap. I have truly no idea if this is actually worth it, but, eh, whatever. Okay. We got a camera. There we go. I don't actually know what happens when you reduce the security levels. And I hear more dudes. Okay, just can't move through that. Probably should have quick saved before I did anything. Okay. So there should be a zap happy dude here. There. There. Oh, exploded his head. 
All right, let's see if we get anything. The answer is no. It would almost assume that a security level would specifically cause like more enemies to spawn over time and kind of come at you. I don't know. I, I'm really addicted to the idea of a game that is, I don't want to say like slightly procedural with how it handles some of these things. Uh, but like if the enemy counts are actually a little bit more dynamic and reactionary, but like you can kind of clear, clear them out permanently. Uh, thermometer. Yeah, no. I probably should stop grabbing all of these things. Vaporizing doesn't take too long, but I don't know. All I know is I'm going to end up with uh, oodles of scrap, and I hope it's useful for something. I'm, I'm just going to get rid of anything that's worth one credit. Like, whatever they're, whatever credits are useful for, I just can't imagine that much is particularly useful, especially for the inventory space expenditure. Now, if I find anything that's actually worth, like, a lot for how little space it is, like, these guys are kind of worth maybe saving. Oh, there's a little bit more. I'm going to have so much scrap. E I, as soon as we find out what it's actually useful for, I guess I'll know. Yeah, the other... Oh, this is actually something useful. There we go. Alright, we've got a gun. We've got more things for me to vaporize. I do kind of wish there was an auto sort button. Or like a sort inventory, just so I don't have to fiddle with this every time and move things around. But I guess we'll have plenty of opportunities for me to specifically mess with my inventory as I go along. So I'm probably going to stick with lead pipe at least for a little while. Uh, let's see. If only because ammo's in short supply. I don't think he survived. Okay, so we also got a uh, spark beam sidearm. It doesn't, it probably doesn't do much damage, but it uses my energy meter instead. Notebook. Standard station notebook. Oh, I was hoping there'd be like actual notes, but I guess only the logs are actually worth listening to and everything else is just, uh, I mean junk. Yeah, actually junk. Alright, uh, you know what, I give up for the time being. If it looks shiny, I'll pick it up. But a lot of this stuff, I'm pretty sure, is actually trash. Heck, I'm pretty sure half of the shiny things that I thought would be useful are still junk. Which is, I don't know, maybe if there's like an auto-junk function. Oh good, I can actually just drag that over. Let's see about this thing. I don't remember... I, I thought there was some level of RPG mechanics in this, like, leveling system. Okay, can I... No. The map is, like, not quite filled in in that singular corner. But I don't think I actually... I don't think that actually matters. I know there's also some secrets. Door is manually locked. Hold up. I thought there were, like, some weird hidden passageways and stuff that you can get through. But if there is, I'm not seeing it. At least not here. I'm gonna double check this one real quick. Nope. I don't know. If it's there, I've missed it. Hopefully it'll show up at some point. Maybe not. Okay, so we had this, which is most assuredly not open. 
alpha. Not sure. Okay, where else do we have? We also had something over this direction. Oh yeah, we most assuredly have not been in gamma yet. And is close. That's unusual. Oh, hello. I like it. Yeah, it's going to work out. Unfortunately, that looks to be a lot of radiation, so I'm going to leave that alone for a bit. There's something else, or is it just him? I'm hearing... No, those are not our own footsteps. Are they? I don't know. I'm hearing a lot of stuff. The audio design right now is pretty good. Oh. Macron recommends the Cracobite. Warning. Maybe semi addictive. Error. Requires a credit. Okay, so I'm I am too poor. I think we're gonna keep exploring this in case I can find I don't know where he was in this process. That hurt. Okay, so that's that's just a little bathroom thing. Yeah, I should have actually kept my eye out. Now that's a switch, not a door. Doesn't look like I can break those. I think there is a critter up above me. And this looks like it requires a code. All right. Whoa. The flamethrower scorpion. Rude. Repair bot contain no items. Okay. Oh, the recycling is... Wait, hold up. Oh, it's gone. Well, insert scrap. Press to start. Um, I think my obsession paid off. Oh, there's the lights. Okay, and everything's making bad noises. I am also kind of wounded. Not heinously so yet. Lift is disabled. All right, I'll have to figure that in a second. Unfortunately, this game is a little hard to look at. There's a lot of things going on all, all at once and a lot of bright, shiny things, uh, which I'm not hating, but it is definitely a little little difficult to figure out like what I'm looking at and what is even important. Because it's a lot of bright lights and dark darks, and my illustration professors probably would have harangued me a little bit for this. It makes sense from like an ambient perspective. Ambiance perspective. Okay, that was the door. I I'm one of the last that hasn't been changed.
that mutant was just keeping a pile of skulls for fun. Also, I think those data pads that I've been collecting, I, I think I should throw them in the recycler. I wasn't sure if there was a separate type of recycling thing to grab. There we go. I'll have to go find a recharge station at some point. That looks like a lot of radioactive material again. I don't know if there's a way around that. So I got a wrench as opposed to a lead pipe. Okay, so it looks like I do have to worry about biological contamination. I'm going to assume hazmat zones are probably something I have to come back through later. There we go. I don't know if these guys respawn or not. I'm going to assume they possibly do. I don't have a whole lot of juice left. So we should probably get back to an energy station. Also trying to keep my ears... at least somewhat focused for noises. I might have to turn the sound effects back up. I'm not a big fan of loud, louder, repetitive noises, so it's not exactly what I want to do. Let's see. But if I got to do it, I got to do it. Is there actually anything in here, or is it just that singular item? Looks like it might have just been that singular item. Oh, and of course this ladder. Well, we have the recycling station, so let's um, toss some things in. So we have a damaged... Not, there we go. Yeah, so it looks like recycling stuff uh, is super worth it. Okay, monkey wrench. Damage 80-30. Armor penetration and range versus this. So same armor penetration. Wrench does more damage and has longer range might be slower oh and I can't get rid of that anyway uh, let's see what is this food bar wrapper yeah we don't need that chip bag oh it does actually give me health battery pack yeah, a lot of food bars and other things but yeah let's just let's just process those I still don't think I'm gonna go too far out of my way uh hmm oh oh I don't th think I'm going to go too out of far out of my way for scrap at the moment. At least not until we know what I can spend money on. Okay, just that. Dang. The map made it look like this would be maybe a route back to the charging station. But it looks like I'm going to have to take the long way around. Still worth it. Uh, zapping things has saved me a tremendous amount of health. Okay, so once again... Oh, no, this is new. Let's, um... Quick save. Back to the spark beam. Oh, it's just a different door. To the same place. Thought I saw something move briefly. Uh, so it looks like if I want to get some power, I'm going to have to go back this direction. Okay. Did not want me to pick up that bio waste bag. 
I don't think I've been through that door either. Well, this has controller vibration. Uh, let's see. Would that be under controls? Gamepad. Mmm. Really? Where would vibration be? Accessibility and interface? Maybe? No. Nope. Looks like I'm just gonna have to disconnect my I live it plugged in all the time, but there's a lot of games that are just like, oh, you're using keyboard and mouse. Well, let's vibrate your controller anyway, just in case uh, you want that, that experience from afar. Okay, so we want to go back down this direction and take a look at some of these doors. Oh, this was severely radioactive, so I don't think we want to d mess around with that. Group 1 access. And we have this for some healing items if I actually care. But I don't, I don't really. I mean, that's funny to look at. It does amuse me that with Shodan's mutants, she, uh, mutated out the, uh, ugly bits. Leaving only the floppiest of people. That one had a lot of soda. This place uh, looks like it's seen better days. Oh, Transderm Dispenser, so we can get uh, medical stuff, stamina, berserk, or whatever. So useful. I don't know how useful. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna keep kind of rolling. They're so flopsy, but honestly, I love a good ragdoll. Even, like, even if it looks kind of goofy at times, uh, I don't know, there's just something kind of fun about, like, the old school, uh, slight collision issues, meaning the, ra uh, meaning whatever ragdoll physics never stops. So instead it's just kind of perpetuating, uh, perpetuating, you know what, perpetuating, I was gonna say undulating, perpetually undulating, but you know what, perpetuating sounds, it's somewhere vaguely in there. Is that group one access? Yeah. Now sometimes when I interact with those, that gets me a whole new level of, let's see, contains new, no items, yeah. Uh, sometimes there's an ambush, but it doesn't look like this game is gonna do that that often. There have been a couple. It looks like two zaps to the face does them in fine. I'm just gonna loot things somewhat aggressively. Okay. I don't know what this is. I mean, it's a decoration, I guess. Honestly, I don't know. There's another ooky spooky out there. I guess I probably have enough range to clip him on the chin. I don't know what my upper limit on this is, but considering I functionally have unlimited ammo on this thing as long as I go to refill every once in a while, that puts me in a very good position to, I don't want to say kind of endlessly, oh god! Okay, I'd, <laughs> dead, uh, huh, I didn't know the surge protagonist is in this game. Uh, sorry, I just turned the corner and there's just a dude standing there and I'm like, are you like a combat robot? And then it, then it starts coming. The, the ambiance is getting me. 
Okay. Might take me a little bit to get on top of this thing. Oh, they do not. They do not want me to do that. Getting on this table was more of a trial than I would have expected. All right. So, hate to say it, but it is actually kind of worth it for me to vaporize a number of these things. It's kind of obsessive, but I have money. And I can vaporize things freely whenever. I just wish there was a way to, like, auto-vaporize trash. But I guess that specifically would encourage my weird loot-mongering ways. As opposed to slightly discouraging it, but also benefiting me for doing so. Okay, so we have a spark beam. TBO5, TBO5. So I guess it's just a separate spark beam. Oh, we do not want to recycle that one. Yet. Oh, I should probably get rid of the bio waste bag. I don't know what I'm doing with in with whatever's inside that bio waste bag, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna think about it too hard. We just dump it on the ground. Who even cares about bio waste in this situation? Like to be kind of honest, if I was in this situation, I'd probably throw every level of like decorum to the wind. Just find something useful, dump it out, or you know, find something useful inside a bag, dump it out, just litter. Who cares? Find something useful, dump it out. <laughs> I would just break everything for the sake of it. I mean, honestly, yeah. Depending on, like, how important it would be, I probably would be a little bit disinterested in keeping things intact. Like, I would probably figure out, like, hey, this door ain't opening. Let's see if I can cut through it. After ascertaining that I'm not going to get... That's not a good sign. I saw something on the other side moving around, and this area looks kind of suspect. But it's clearly got something I want. Alright, down we go, I guess. How do I even push the O? I see, so it's an elevator. It's a grav trapped elevator. Alright. Hear it. But I do not see it. I heard Shell breathe in the background and it actually freaked me out a little bit. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Yeah, two shots to the dome. Oh. I have radiation poisoning. Wait. This place is safe. So it looks like I take some damage from radiation, but not much, at least not here. It probably also doesn't stack up that fast. Oh. Okay, I can let it fall here, but I'm not sure if that matters. Okay, let's go back. I don't think I found what I was looking for. But we do know for a fact that radiation is uh, not as damaging as one would have expected. Oh. Uh. like what we want to do is fill this up as much as possible. And the main question is, how does this work?
Because this seems to do nothing, unfortunately for me. Oh, we have one more plug. I feel like I'm missing something. I'm close. Yeah, because why is this one not doing anything? Oh, it's because both of these have to be specifically angled into to work. I don't know. I think I think what I need is this. I need a logic probe. So let me let me double check my map rather than going back down into radiation, the radiation zone. I'm not sure. I know there's something specifically over here. Caution to the wind. No, it wasn't this. There's something here. No, that ain't it. I feel like there's got to be a, a ladder or a lift that I'm missing. But I can't see it, and I am also dying. So I guess we'll have to come back to this in a little bit. I like that little logic puzzle, but also kind of confused by what I'm missing on it. It's fine. So I think those, like, grunts are actually our character. I thought I thought it was a critter. But no, it looks to be me dying of radiation. Oh, I see. That's just telling me there's a keypad back there. Oh, well, let's... Hope to pizza that I'm mostly alone. I am not. I love how flopsy they are. And they do actually drop stuff. I should probably use some of the meta patches. Because it does seem, seem like the dead mutants do actually drop things. Haven't really explored that area now, have I? Okay, energy has been depleted. Oh, does it use my HP? Alright, so that's not going to heal me too fast, is it? Well, I'm just going to mess with some things for a second. That did not heal me as much as I was hoping it would. And there's... There's like three of these suckers in here. Because I know there's one more. Okay. So we do know that enemies respawn. On the plus side... I have no idea. Maybe he isn't here. I thought I saw a guy in an outfit. But I guess we're okay. Good time to heal though. Yeah, because the med patches don't heal that much. <sighs> yeah, very good time to heal.
Uh, but yeah, so enemies do in fact respawn fairly consistently. So, I think my insistence on using... My insistence on using energy-based weaponry isn't too foolish. I sincerely hope whoever that person in this suit is was uh, not someone I was supposed to talk to. Dead cyborg surgeon. I'm going to assume I did the right thing there. kind of sad but I mean kind of the whole point of this game I'm definitely getting a lot of prey out of this which makes sense I'm pretty sure prey was very distinctly well yeah of course that's where the robot was here's the thing I don't actually know if this is even remotely close to necessary. But I'm assuming these people are super dead at this point. I'm not sure. I could have just done a war crime. Oh well. Uh, it's vaporized the rest of this. I have a lot of items that I probably don't need. There's a lot of corpses keep going around because yeah it looks like I've got access to a lot of these zones now well it's a good thing I looked this direction there we go oh! yeah so it looks like Shodan just delivers them via cubes Head patch, all sorts of junk in here. I mean, it me, Junkmonger Supreme, I will grab all of this stuff. But what I do want to see is if there's a, oh. Just Dis displays the user's health status. I mean, but I already have a health UI. Do I need that? I don't know. Okay, there's nothing there, nobody in that chair. Anything else? A lot of computer terminals. Stethoscopes. Medical report. Physical deformities, convulsions, and no response to conventional treatments. This new mystery virus has me rattled. Origin is supposedly from an experiment on research. But there are no notes to be found. Why are we not getting any treatment recommendations if we made it? Why is Diego silent on all of this? I'll consult with Dr. Stackhouse tomorrow, since she has two more patients with similar conditions. Looks like this room is mostly junk. Which is, I mean, good bad, because obviously I'm going to spend forever recycling everything for no good reason. But on the flip side, uh, I don't know. I like to be well prepared. Yeah, I should stop. I should stop, especially because I think this video has gone on a fair, fair while. Now that's just an ashtray. I think that was actually a try credit, so that was worth picking up. Yeah, it looks like this room was mostly just small lore. I don't like the fact that I can't see the edges of this room lighting up. Makes me feel like there might be more to explore, but I'm 90% certain there is nothing. I have too much loot. We should probably go back to the recycler machine at some point. Yeah, I don't need more energy. Pop this open. Oh, this is a whole place. A 
anything else. I like the combat music. It doesn't play often, though. Medical computer cyberspace lock. If you're hearing this, we have set up an operation space to assist in resisting Shodan. Come to Beta Quadrant, and you will find the medical research vaults have been turned into a radioactive trench. If you are coming in from Gamma, our guards will extend the bridge for you. You can also activate the bridge using a nearby wiring panel. Any humans that can hear my voice, come to Beta Quadrant and make a stand against Shodan. So there's the medical access card. A lot of junk for me to scrap, and we also got an engineer's report. Shodan has been stretched too thin, with Shodan controlling or monitoring every system on the station. It's surprising it isn't surprising to see her built-in security subroutine showing its flaws. As of now, it's randomly selling sealing storage lockers and storing the code to access them in cyber cores that are only accessible via cyberspace. Throwing this useful useless information into the same cores as sensitive as system information will create an exploit. Off Shodan generate defensive systems to keep any would-be hackers away until the issue is sorted. Okay, jumping into this into cyberspace of these terminals. Alright. I guess I'm actually glad I stuck it out for a little bit longer just so we could actually see cyberspace. Looks like it's a six degree of freedom shooter to some degree. Okay. So I've got shurikens that I can now fire. This looks actually pretty nice. I see, so that was a node. Open this up. Okay, so we've got decoy evasion. Okay, how do I go down? Control. Got it. Anything else? Yes. It's interesting, on the review guide that I received for this game, uh, it had said something to the extent of like, hey, please don't show off cyberspace too much. I guess I could see it purely from the perspective of like, I'm getting incredibly motion sick right now. Uh, like, really, really quickly. Uh, so it might be something to do with that. Yeah, that's probably exactly what it is. Ah, this is not a good feeling, actually. Duh. Oh, no. Oh, okay, hello. There we go. At least I can rotate. Enemy's gate is down. Where the F is down? Sorry. Uh, let's see. This looks like something? No, it looks like a door. More integrity. Luckily, I can't pick that up without doing something. I don't know. Alright. Like, it looks cool. I just wish it was still a first-person shooter. Six Degree of Freedom shooters... Oh, I don't want to say they're kind of outmoded at this point, but there's kind of a reason why they never took on. Or took off. Recall Escape. Like, I know they were considered really cool back in the day. And I always wanted to play Descent as a kid, but... Having not played it, my only real experience with... Six Degree of Freedom Shooters is mostly just, uh... What game was it? Uh, Sublevel Zero or something like that? That was a really neat game that I only played a little bit of. It had a fun weapon fusion system that I, I liked. I think just ultimately, though, it, it didn't quite have the full roguelike experience that I usually crave. And navigating was hard. And it made me feel pretty nauseous after a little bit. 
I think the last thing in the the one that like really sealed the deal for me was uh, when I was streaming it. Uh, there were some like super fans that got like really into the game and would specifically show up to every uh, stream of it. And it was really obnoxious trying to have to deal with that a little bit because I, I don't want to say there's nothing I hate more than a super fan because like honestly I do actually really appreciate people's enthusiasm for a thing. But I also find that enthusiasm can very quickly be used as like equal parts of this like odd gatekeeping thing or a um, or just kind of a means of like kind of exerting some false superiority over somebody else. And that always like gets to me. I don't know if I'm supposed to be destroying this or not. The fact that my shurikens are coming out of the lowest section. Do I go through this thing? No. Do I destroy it or do I destroy all the security bots? I have no idea. Okay, medical armory unlocked. Okay, that was there. I don't know what else we have in cyberspace. I almost feel like uh, cyberspace could have actually been like a bunch of... Or... Like a, a weird layer on top of the main game. Not like fully, but... Um, it feels like this is kind of a small little instanced area. And I would have really... Actually... I truly would have enjoyed it almost if it was a second layer first person shooter. But it played slightly different, like a little bit more goofy or over the top. And you have like these big network labyrinths that, you know, give you access to a whole bunch of different places. I think this is our goal. Out of here. But I guess that would have been hard to design. I'm just, uh, I don't know. Played a lot of Tears of the Kingdom over the last couple weeks and really enjoyed it. And it's one of those where, uh, the idea of having this, like, whole second layer of gameplay that is just, uh, you know, how would I describe it? Like, because I don't want to spoil it in the slightest. But there's, there are a couple of moments in... Like a number of games, I know Elden Ring had this too, where like you get to a certain region and it's just like, all of a sudden the game feels like it's opened up in such a massive way, and you never even like thought that that could have been been present in the game because why would anybody make something to that extent? Uh, I don't know. I I truly want to avoid spoiling it. Not that it matters too much. Like I I recognize I think most people. Probably even know what I'm talking about to some degree with this. I have too many items. I should probably stop. Looks like we can buy some ammo though, which is nice. Here, can I buy, can I grab like all of those? Do they stack? No, they do not. I know the uh, bio waste bags do. But I guess these don't. Oh, I'm probably gonna stick with my spark beam. As inefficient as it is. Oh, hey, there's the lights. And I still can't open that up yet. Because it is not functional. I love how wobbly the mutants are. Alright, so we get the mini pistol. Is there anything else here? I think that was just an alternate means of getting mi mini pistols. Wait, sight enhancement? Hold up. Oh, it's a patch. That sucks. Yeah, so we had some armaments. I was really hoping we get, uh, like a perk or something that would let me see a little bit better. Like some solid low light vision. Alas, no dice. Alright, well, one way or another, I think this is actually a pretty good stopping point, at least for now. I'm having a good time with this, and I am I can safely say I did not like the original demo for this. I thought it was very ho-hum. Um, kind of complex, hard to explore, looked bad, played bad, controls are bad, and the, the... 
enemy AI was kind of dinky and dumb. It's still kind of dinky and dumb, but not like... It's not intolerably so. In fact, I'm actually finding it kind of endearing. Uh, having played, you know, the, the full release version with all the requisite patches and polish to really make it sing. I think I can always come back to these, so I'm probably going to just leave a lot of scrap. If it gets to the point where I feel like I really need to do it, cool. But otherwise, yeah, I might, um... Leave it as is. Is that another spark sidearm? The problem is I have all of these pistols and I don't think I can recycle them or scrap them in any way, shape, or form. I can empty them out though, which is nice. And that's just a damaged spark. I guess I'm gonna leave that there because I can probably recycle that for more. We go back up. Oh, there it is. I don't know if there's anything else there, but it's nice to know that it is. So, I guess let's go to the map real quick. Boy, we've actually filled in a decent chunk of this. I almost feel like I probably could have actually cleared out a substantial portion. Or, I might have actually been able to finish this level had I been a little faster and known what I was doing. I don't actually know how long System Shock is. My assumption is it's somewhere in the 10 to 20 hour mark. Uh, but again, I'd actually have to play a substantial amount more before I could really say. And I think that's fine. Uh, but I do, I do have to say, as a person who occasionally gets very deep into immersive sims, this seems to be hitting all of the right notes in the best possible way. And I want to play more of it. But for now, at least, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. But with that, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.